can see how juicy and yummy this ofada sauce is hi guys so today we'll be making ofada sauce so first step is for us to blend our pepper and onion so this is the kind of pepper we'll be using for this recipe so you go ahead and place it into your blender so if you have food processor that will be more easier for you because we don't really need this pepper to be smooth rather we need it to be roughly blend so you're going to go ahead and add some water so the reason i'm adding this much water is because i don't really need it to be smooth like i said before so i need it to be roughly blend as i'm adding this much water so after i finish blending i'm going to seep the water out of it stop your heat turn up your heat place your saucepan on heat go in with our already bleached palm oil So you're going to allow it to heat for three to four minutes. So after that five minutes, you're going to go in with your your protein. So for this recipe, I'll be using this part of the protein, which is your shakri and some ranabats, which has already been cooked. So when you're done frying it for about five minutes, you're going to take it out and set it aside. When you're done with that, you're going to go in with your pepper mix, which is your roughly blended pepper mix that you already blend. So you're going to give that a good stir, which is a good mix. So you're going in with your glucose beans. So we're going to go in with our crab. Add our seasoning cube. Your sauce. Some crayfish powder. Then leave an ally to fry. For about three minutes so we're going to go in with our protein which is our fried protein some boiled eggs if you have prawns you can easily add it to it so you give that a good stir which is a good miss and allow it to fry our uh, opada sauce is ready you can see how juicy and yummy this opada sauce is i bet you if you try this recipe you're going to love it 